Leave it with Rochelle. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to match day one, the third attempt at me getting this Ward Elf team off the ground. Last time we randomed and got a load of rubbish skills, so I threw them in the bin after playing two games with them. So this is match one, take three, part one. We've got a checkered black and yellow going on, and we're playing against someone who's got a bit of a Tonga, Hester Udar. Fine. Uh, starting team there, me knew, they knew. And this is a bit of a. Yeah, okay, it's a normal build. Normal build, fine. Oh, this is Try Undead, is it? Okay. Uh, interesting question in chat. How do you know if you're a good player in Blood Bowl 3 or Blood Bowl Tabletop? Um, you'd win a bit? <laughs> I don't know, like, what What do you mean? The, you know, like, like, the, the, the answer is, yeah, you would, you would win a bunch. But in, in, you know, the slightly more serious answer to all that, I think, is that you would play... You would feel like you were doing well in almost all the games you were playing in. Or you should. I'd also suggest you probably, probably have a good idea about, like, what is going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pick up the ball. Great success. Here we go. How did my leg get fixed? Uh, uh, this is a this is a fresh doom shock. <clears throat> Never tell me the odds. Rochelle, I, I, I'd, I'd like to talk to you about the quotes, by the way, because I think it'd be quite interesting to have them on a on a Google sheet or something that you could then I could then link to it. So. If anyone wants to go and look up quotes, they're all there and they're stored somewhere. Good players score on two turns with Wood Elves. Maybe they do. Black Swan says good players don't need to dacker. <clears throat> Maybe I'm a bad player. Maybe I like being a bad player. Maybe I like it when people say, you're a bad player, Davo. Maybe. There we go. Right, nice flat line. Because the Zombos struggle to get all the way in without throwing oodles of GFIs at it. 
Um, maybe I could have gone one further back, actually. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, Hype says that maybe scoring a quick touchdown on turn game one is more viable. I think that's that's a really interesting consideration that I hadn't, hadn't necessarily put in. I think you, you might be right. Maybe I should be slamming, slamming it in early and then just seeing what happens. What do you love in your throw what elves in league? Uh, leader, I think. And then I, I like accurate Leoness. Uh, one thing I did note from your answer is you didn't mention any Blood Bowl 3 as rank, rank is a good player. No, the, the ranking system in Blood Bowl 3 has zero to do with being good or bad. Our third trimester together. Uh, and the, the reason for that is because it ranking in Blood Bowl 3 is, is all about time served and nothing to do with uh, ability. No, not nothing. Very little. Let me be, let me be clear. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. I'm not a massive fan of getting trapped against the sidelines here, actually. I have to admit, I'm not really a massive fan of that. So let's let's shove a little bit, but let's not get trapped. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Yeah, win, draw, loss doesn't matter. So the the ranking system is play as many games as you can. And here's an example, right? Um, Coach A goes and wins and plays eleven games and wins all eleven games. Coach A is probably now sat on about well master level. And he's probably at 2050, probably somewhere in that region, ranking. Coach B plays 50 games and is 25-0-25. Coach B can also be 2050 ranking. Coach B could also be 1400 ranking. So games played isn't the... Uh, the control mechanism that you think it's going to be. Oh. Yeah, I, I noticed that the guy that is um, for uh, the, the chaos coach that I didn't think was very strong is currently top of the whole ladder. Because he's played he's played a crap ton of games. I mean, th the way to do the ladder is to do what you used to do in Blood Bowl 2 ladder but it's even more prevalent which is go and play one million games in the first two weeks this is a really interesting problem he's put me into here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you go around the corner. That's a punch. One, two, smash ball in face. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to give you a prediction. So I think that this one could easily end in a um, a concession. So now we don't need to dodge at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
And if we can cut, if I can cut here, we're suddenly really in. All I need to do now is just stop, stop things piling through this gap. That goes there. From a safe dice point of view, I'm not going to throw the, um, the the dodge here, uh, as a as a requirement do dodge. And if you were feeling fruity with a dodge skill, you'd put this guy and put him in here, but I'm not, so I won't. Ghoul is the only the ghoul is over there, so we're next. We're going to pile through. Now he's on one ghoul. I am going to go and score as quick. Um, yeah, I think we we'll, we'll should be able to push this. Hey, L plate, how you doing? Uh, if they didn't half price randoms, I think the ladder would be in good place because it doesn't take much to get to the sixteen hundred max, so limited games wouldn't matter. Uh, disagree hard, Theodore Bone. Massively disagree with that. So, think about the control points for uh, Blood Bowl. Like, what are they, first of all? And in my mind, those control points are um, team value. Let's see if I can. Oh, damn it. and number of games. Hey Plagues, how you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the surf on the white here. So we'll see if we can get it. Negative, Jim. That's a shame. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to take the, not take the surf, but I'm going to pin this guy in play. Oh, hello. What's wrong with your face and why is it red? It's red. What have you been eating? Strawberry. Oh, okay. Where does the strawberry go? Does it go on your face or does it go in your mouth? In my mouth, I eat and then I made it too. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> fine. Well, that's... Okay, so we're going to have to just trap a few mummies. And I think we'll have to trap some zombies as well as some mummies. There we go. So that zombie is trappaged. There we go. So, uh, let me finish that thought off. Where did I get to? Um... Teams have balanced on team value and on number of games. And number of games is a much more subtle delimiter because number of team value is the primary control. But here's an example. Two coaches play um, a various number of games. So coach A comes along and plays five games on their Dark Elf team. Their coach value, their team value is 1150. And I can imagine most people in chat can think about that and go, okay, right, so they've maybe leveled um, two bludging, you know, two blitzes to bludge, they've maybe got a lineman skill, they've picked up the apothecary, and at eleven fifty, maybe they've bought another player. Right? That's the eleven fifty. Another team plays um, 40 games and is eleven fifty. 70 games and is eleven fifty. Suddenly, that 40 game old team 
you're maybe starting to picture um, a level 5 player with 4 skills, right? That's And a bunch of players that are missed next game. So suddenly, that team has a bunch of really annoying people to have for you, for you to have to deal with and alone a crappy lineman. That's a completely different problem than two fresh five-game old teams playing and going at it. And that's why team matches played is also an important feature. What I'm in expecting to happen next is in cyanide acknowledge that point and then say, oh, okay, well, if that's your problem, we'll fix it by um, matching purely on yeah, th that and games played. And we're like, oh, no. Okay. So I'm, I'm expecting matches played to be a a, um, a feature in, the, in an upcoming patch. Right, we're on turn six. We just need to blitz the white out of the way and run through the gap. Now it's not about taking extra hits, it's about getting through gaps. Nice pal, thank you. This is the one turn we're actually needing to roll. You can't reach that square. You could reach that square. We're on two re-rolls. Okay, so you're going to go there. Which now means you can go there. Which means you can go there. And then you go there. And then maybe we put a re-roll into this. All right, because it's a two plus dodge go for it. Although we are forcing the dodge off this ghoul. Maybe not. Play the slightly safer, lazier play. There we go. Turn. <clears throat> uh, Alkaline Esquire, good evening. She's reinventing how to consume a strawberry. Honestly, it looked like someone had taken a strawberry and just shoved it into her face with her mouth closed. It's just, it was It was all over. I thought she'd had a blood uh, a blood bowl, uh, a nosebleed for a second. It's GW's insistence, says Plague says, it's in GW's insistence the online game matches the tabletop prevents the game from becoming better. And he had a great idea the online version could be used as a tool to test out new rule sets. Yep. I, I don't think, I think if I was in charge of blood bowl the entire event, I think it would be very I don't think I'd have the tabletop as playtesters at all. I think I'd test the whole thing on online. I mean, I'd need to rip Blood Bowl 3 apart and, and fundamentally rebuild it. But as a concept, I would I would have all the playtesting done here. Or on Fumble, or both. And I suspect Fumble would very much like like to be included. So we have successfully Dakard. Yeah, I mean, Blood Bowl 3 has more playtesting done in one day than the playtesters manage in an entire cycle. In fact, I would suggest that Blood Bowl 3 has more playtesting done in several hours than Blood Bowl 3 has done in an entire cycle. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, like, they, we're seeing, what, 1,000 games a day played in Blood Bowl 3? That's... What is Gulls? Um, dead into dead? In Sweden, we call that Rett Vist. In, in tabletop land, they won't play a thousand games. Really, it's a two plus rush? Fine, we won't do it then. Managed to secure the score. Get away from you. 
Surfed. Run away, little man. Fumble <laughs> could have testing up and running within a week. Yep. Yeah, it could. Very much could. Yes. Oh, Mrs. Plagues. Play, play nice. <laughs> what are you on? You're on non. Blood Bowl 3 land doesn't match the rule set. No, I mean, there's a bunch of things in Blood Bowl 3 land that don't match, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can get a, uh, an extra two star player point somewhere. Ding, ding, ding. No star player points. Uh, not doing anything there. Score. Well, if you were going down that route of it not matching the rule set, so um, it, it's not a thing, I would say is that it's not rule set compliant because it's missing a third of the teams. Like, there's a bunch of reasons why it's not there. Hello, Philby, how you doing? Concede rules for tabletop are better. Concede rules for this. Had a good Saturday. Yeah, it's been alright, thank you. <laughs> I thought Twitch had a new meta, where's the butt cam? But what? <laughs> oh, don't worry, Crispy. You're fine, mate. You'll be fine. You're here. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Right? Drop and roll. That's all you need to learn. You just need to learn drop and roll. Okay? Right, so now what you do is you roll, dive heavily, roll. There you go. See, you're fine. I mean, you did a little bit acro acrobatically. You, like, flipped over like a spinning top. That's with the ghoul. Oh no, it wasn't. It wasn't with the ghoul, was it? No. Okay, it wasn't with the ghoul. Uh, there's eight round there. I think he's on nine. Ah, uh, Crispy didn't wake up. Non, 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 non. Oh, it's you that scored, wasn't it? Non. There we go. Let's play. Oh crap! You're the wrong way around. Uh, cheeky Jimmy. Um, in Blodge we trust. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he's got nine. Yeah. He didn't want to go back on the line of scrimmage, so he stayed knocked out.
<laughs> oh, cheeky Jimmy, I love you, but please don't die. Uh, we don't get the reroll, sadly. One thing, if you are playing this and watching for ideas and how to do more stuff, make sure that if you're playing Undead, the two mummies should always, always, always be taking three dice blocks. You move your probability up by another 15% for getting a knockdown, and you lower your percentage from 11% um, turnover to like 4%. So it's huge. I played against that defense formation to go for the first time and it felt like unbeatable any advice for what you can do against it. And Salah, what, what do you mean? What what I did to the opponent? Uh, nine versus nine. Nuffles, <laughs> get right statistics. You did say defense. I, I know, that's why I don't understand. Your formation putting two players like that. Two players like what? I, d I don't understand what the question is. Columns. What type of, what, what, what do you mean columns? Oh, right. Oh, I think, I think I understand now. Okay. Like, how do you beat a column defense? Um, you need to attack into it and put pressure on the front of the, on the front of several columns at once. We don't want to leave you lying around. So the idea here is that we've now chipped that one, it's gone. Even though it's not KO'd, it is gone. And he's got the rest of this team. Then we'll next turn we'll pick another one off. And we'll try and do that to another one. J with two J's, or uh didn't realise you were the comedian. I just copy the other chatters. Yes, I'm aware that other chatters, the inverted commas, Cheek Jimmy, have uh, started to create, wow, um, a, a culture of <clears throat> naughtiness. So how do we want to break this? Because there is... There is. Is there? There is. Yeah, there is. I just don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. All right. So I was about to say there is a we can get the, we can push that ball to here by filling that square in, filling that square in, and blitzing that pushes the ball here. If we then step the catcher in, we could then one D to push the ball here, and then we could try and sack it. But quite frankly, that's a terrible idea.
stay. Try and isolate these out now. Every time you have an important legal thing to play online, you play Hawks. That's not true. No foul on the mummy. Nah. I... I I do like Orcs because I do think that they're a consistent team. I, I really do think that they're consistent. And that's important when you're playing in tournaments. Nine versus eight. we bend into this so if I put a catcher in there let's say we can push this to there which isn't great I can put it there it's not great if I put this one two three four if I put catcher there that's two that's better right you go there please be a pal So there's one D on the ball if I want it. I do. I don't think I do. Take it. Oh, fuck! That, you fucking idiot! Fuck. Fucking idiot. Mm, that was the worst of all turns. No, it was just stupidity is what that was. Stand firm's a B tier skill. I did a, a skill tier list a while ago. Oh. 
And stun firm was, yeah, it was alright. doesn't have block so it's two in six to take it down that double stun is really fucking annoying um trading hits is awful one two rerolls one Push the ghoul to there. The problem is the mummy, because the mummy has to go there. So maybe you could go, right, you go there. I don't think I've got the players. I think the problem I'm going to have is I don't have the physical players to do what I want to do. Can I do this without a blitz? I want to push the ghoul here. So if that goes there. Fill that square. With the catcher. And then. No that's not going to work. It's not going to work. Go on, let's see what happens. Okay. most terrible of things to have ever happened to us. <clears throat> Bloody double good war dance me. Yeah. The better actual play was to have the catcher up here. Uh, but I couldn't guarantee that it was going to work, so I couldn't. Prediction needs paying out. Oh, what was the prediction for? Half time. There you go, one prediction, half timed. Andy, the play I saw as soon as he moved the goal after 10 minutes of trying to be clever. Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. My relationship with Davo still going strong. Oh, Tyus, thank you very much indeed. How are you, by the way? Are you both well? Whoops. It's a dirty little push. We need a handful of non-terrible dice, and then we'll be fine. Two plus dodge is more important. There we go. out and fill in that square and everyone's fine Whew. 
Done it. Uh, thank you very much indeed for 23 months. Currently having a Mackies. Basically, it's just shooting Nando's. Did we tell you we managed to climb snow in the last month and snow and ice? You didn't. That's very nice. Where in the world are you having your McDonald's? And hasn't it got really expensive all of a sudden? I, I don't know if it's just me or is or is McDonald's just suddenly got very, very expensive? Like very expensive. Oh yeah, yeah, Facebook me, please, that'd be cool. I mean I'm not suggesting it was it was fine dining or anything, right? I'm I'm not in that category. But it it went from being fairly cheap, like filling food to being really fucking expensive. It's, yeah, it's now too expensive for what it is. It's expensive right now, so much so that CEO is talking about losing the core demographic. Are they really? That's interesting that the, the CEO is talking like that. Because I, I, I completely agree. Right, ball carrier blitz. There is still technically going to be two Ds on the ball, which is a bit annoying. So it'll be a jump on a four, and then we're out. Or it's a three. I think it's a three, isn't it? Right, get you out on a three. Which means actually the better thing to do is to do... Best thing to do is this look. Badoink. Huzzah! Haha. <laughs> oh. Jump. What an awesome skill. Hey! Oh. Could be going in the bin. No, negative. No bin. You're on three points. Hold this. Because the other one's... Uh, that's a... Oh, idiot. Both dancers would have then had points. But sadly not. Yeah, it would have been nice to blitz the goal, but... Get the ball on the war dancer was the most important thing to happen there. Never mind. It's fine. You know what we could have done, actually? We could have roofed, roofed that over. Uh, there is a chance we won't pick it up. Never mind. Never mind.
Double rush, double rush. We're out of range. Doesn't do anything, so never mind. Um, I really want to score on that one. Tit. Oh well, never mind. Roll a 1 and turn 15, roll a 1 and turn 16. Never mind. Whoops. Uh, Bad MVP. Oh, that's a good skill. Right, good. So now, now you've got sprint, we need to get you sidestep and sure feet. So we can now stack into that. If you'd hit any of those, which is what we were looking for, that's really cool. Um, if you'd hit that, I'd have probably turned you into the Fowler. But there we go. Right, so that's you. You now, you're now done. So next, next primary skill for you is sidestep at eight points and you're on four. Okay, fine. Uh, and STX is MNG. Um, and we hit 35k. Never mind. Fine. That was game one. Pretty good. Uh, just out of interest, what do we think about playing in black and white? Would black and white stand out even more? Or do we like the yellow? Yellow is better. Alright. Okay. You're not having poo brown. Bog off. Uh, what TV are you getting a tree when I can afford it? 